Hello everyone, today I'll show how I superimpose the data gathered from the CBCT scanners with the data which I got from my intraoral scanner or it could be a lab scanner, uh, doesn't matter and so that I can get such an image in Maestro 3D where I see the actual bone, actual roots anatomy and it gives me a lot of information, it affects my treatment plan a lot. So when I can see uh, the size, the anatomy of the roots, when I can see uh, if there is a lack of bone or if there, is, there is enough bone or there is some uh, tendency to recessions or blah blah blah, it's a huge 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 impact on the quality of our treatment plans. So that uh, we have to work only with CBCT scans, except it's like a small relapse case. I work only with CBCT scans with some small exceptions. So we need um, a couple of things. The first one is a uh, software called uh, Mesh Mixer. You can go to their website meshmixer.com and download it. It's uh, free of charge. And the second thing we need is a subscription to Diagnocat uh, surveys. Just go to diagnocat.com, uh, buy a subscription, and you'll get an access to it. Um, it is the version for Russian speakers, uh, diagnocat.ru. So since I already have a subscription, I just type my email and password and log in to my uh, dashboard, uh, then I create a new case and type the last name, first name, blah blah blah. I have already created this uh, case, it's actually uh, me, myself, it's uh, my data, my scans, my CBCT. And here we click upload CB, a CT scan, uh, we choose the folder where we store it. So here it is, you click upload, you wait for a few minutes, once it's done, so we don't have to wait it since I've already done it, then after the upload, uh, after this scan um, had been uploaded, we click order report, uh, choose STL, choose the second option, STL of teeth and full anatomy, and click order. Uh, it will generate the files. Uh, I also have already completed this step. So I just have to download the files. Let's wait for it. There is also a viewer. You can open it online. Looks good. It's very good for presentations, etc. So once the download is complete, we extract these STL files from the zip archive. So what actually Diagnacad does, uh, it converts the DICOM data to STL files. By the way, we need to have our initial data in uh, DCM extension. It has to be in DCM or DICOM format. So that Diagnacite can work with it. Well, now we have uh, some structures which we don't need. We'll uh, delete it and we also have all the teeth and we have uh, mandible and maxillary bones let's open mesh mixer now we are choosing the teeth for the lower arch and drag them to mesh mixer Uh, yep, sometimes this happens.
That's why I used to use materialize magix. Uh, it works without such bugs, but it's not free of charge. Okay. 46. That's it. Then we click shift, press shift, uh, hold it and click here. So we uh, can combine all the teeth. We press the combine button and now we have a single file with all the teeth and roots and we export it. We press file, export, file, export. And let's call it uh, root slower. So we can delete uh, these files. And let's do the same with the upper teeth. We drag these files to Mesh Mixer. We check if everything is correct. No, it's not. So we do some manual adjustments. Um, one, two, and one, one. I don't understand the logic of this box. So we choose all the teeth at the same time. We press combine and export uh, these tail files let's call it um, roots upper done so we can delete all these sing single tooth files so now we have uh, the scans from i don't remember was it an intraoral scanner or a lab scanner the scans have to be aligned in the proper occlusion okay now let's go to maestro version 6 we create a new case uh, and um, then we import the STL files. So let's choose the folder with them. Uh, upper jaw and lower jaw. It's uh, STL files of the scans, which we got from our scanner. Um, teeth with roots. This is what we prepared in uh, Mesh Mixer in the AgnaCut. Roots upper and roots lower. And upper jaw and lower jaw bone. So we choose the data from Dagnacut, Maxilla, and Mandibo. And press next. Uh, let's set the collision plane. Let's set the orientation. If we'll try to visualize the bone at this step, we'll see that it's uh, it's uh, in some uh, coordinates which don't match our models. So let's work on it. Uh, we do our usual routine. We go to virtual setup and uh, we make our uh, usual preparation of the teeth. Uh, we start with segmentation. I don't like the automatic segmentation because it's not really precise, so I do it manually. So let's do it. After the segmentation is complete, uh, 
we click here import roots and we need to set uh, we need to pick up uh, uh, three to five dots uh, three to five points at the left and right sides of the screen so on the right side of the screen we see the data from exported from the data exported from diagnocat and on the left side we see the data from the internal scan so we put these points to approximately same uh, areas and we click find alignment and make sure that the models are aligned yes they are then click next so we are done with the upper jaw and uh, now the models are aligned and the um, teeth the roots and the bone they are in the same coordinates but if we click uh, if we if, if we try to visualize the bone for on the upper or on the lower jaw we see the same uh, what we saw at the start so we have to do the same steps for the lower teeth to line them with the bone and roots So now we repeat the same procedures. We click import roots. We are choosing three uh, points at the same areas on a scan and on the CBCT scan. Now the roots are aligned, and we see that uh, from now all the structures they match each other. We see that we got a crowns, which shape is gathered from intraoral scan, or it could be the lab scan. And the rest is uh, gathered from CBCT scan, the, the roots and the bone. And now we can start making our treatment plan, which is going to be <clears throat> much more accurate than it would be without a CBCT scan. So thanks for watching. I hope it was helpful.